Hey guys, and the video that you're about to watch uh, is an interview that I did with Ivan Teller, who's part of my channeling documentary, which is currently ongoing, and I'm still filming for my channeling documentary. The reason Ivan's come back on is because obviously, for some of you who may not know, I'm actually currently filming for a documentary called Richard Baldwin, A Murder in Camelot. So I've sort of got two documentaries back to back. Um, right now, uh, with my team, uh, um, they've taken some of the slack from me so I've been able just to put a bit more time into the channeling dock and um, that's now being edited and moving forward but it's such a big project that uh, and there's still more filming to do because I'm just changing some participants that were gonna appear in the documentary with other people right now because obviously you know thinking changes you know um, the whole process in what is channeling changes and everything else and um, yeah, my journey has taught me so much and I, I, um, I need to do the right thing with the people that I'm putting in the documentary docu-series as well. So anyway, Ivan Teller, uh, he's one of the participants. He's done a video on Mark Richards. I completely disagreed with him. That's why I got him on. I wanted to find out where his thinking was. And for some of you that think that after watching this, I gave him an easy ride. Actually, the message that he gives me in in all that we talk about at the, near the very end of the conversation and halfway through, was really the message that I needed to hear that there with the Richard Baldwin documentary there has to be a spiritual angle that's put into that documentary and if that was the message that he was sent to me to hear I've heard it uh, from uh, other people and um, my other researcher the ferret <laughs> I just want to say uh, I've not left you out Han uh, you gave me the same message as well and I thank you for all that you're doing as well and and to my boy uh, Jeffrey Reed as well so um, so so right now with the Richard Baldwin documentary um, there is so much new information that's come to me that that documentary has had to be put on hold there's no way I can get that documentary out for much and do it justice okay so it, it's it's such a poignant case I mean right now there's a lot going on with Corey Good as we speak right now in our community and uh, you know I, I believe even um, uh, Jimmy Church is gonna make a statement at some point regarding Corey Good. I might be wrong there, but from what I've seen with the CW Chanter interviews, uh, there's a lot going on. And it's not just Corey Good. You know, I don't know enough about the story, but right now my, my main focus is in the Mark Richards, Captain Mark Richards story, which is another form of absolute fake news within the spiritual community. It's another form of the dark energy that's out there masquerading itself as light through Kerry Cassidy, through Simon Parks, through Joanne Richards, because, you know, they're, they're all involved in this now. And, you know, when Simon Parks did that video against me to say that, um, well, not against me, but saying that, you know, he'd uh, had information that said uh, that there was um, intelligence information that he received that Mark was part of the, uh, the, the, the secret space uh, program, or it was in the Navy, I mean, you know, um, uh, th 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 this story is so much bigger and there's so much more to do so Kerry uh, Joanne Richards and uh, Simon um, yes I've not forgotten any of you I'm going to get to get back to all of you and we're gonna go for a nice jolly ride in this docu-series documentary so that is gonna be fun that's gonna be fun um, so you know it's amazing you know when, when I, when I, the time that I've worked on this, you know, documentary docu series for the Mark Richards, um, and the insanity that's in my community. I've got to say it again, the insanity, the fake news is absolute. Because what they're doing is they're basically saying that the events that I've uncovered to do with Mark Richards, speaking to the lead detective that interviewed, uh, arrested him in 1982, speaking to, you know, uh, Mark's former crime partner who's still in prison, Cross and Hoover, who committed the murder and said that Mark was right next to him handing him the tools when he was murdering uh, Richards, uh, Mark's uh, best friend, Richard Baldwin, speaking to, you know, um, Joanne Richards who's completely just just twisting uh, the, 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 the ideas of what Mark's putting out there to be truth uh, and, and Mark is not Mark, Mark is just a, a person that was uh, involved in a murder back in July 6, 1982. Mark's uh, a notorious character because he's got a, a, right, um, a right bad history as well. 
So, um, and then for Kerry Cassidy to, to have given in the support that she did and to never have interviewed any of the people that I interviewed for the documentary and to say that she's looked into the, into, into the case. At, well, I mean, like I, I've always said that, you know, she fell in love with Mark as a father figure, as a grandfather figure. She, she loves this man and, uh, it, you know, it's not a, not a love as like I'm, I'm, I'm in love with my partner or, or girlfriend. It's, it, it's, it, it's, it's a, a family love. And um, that has skewered her thinking altogether. It's really twisted her thinking up. Or there's other reasons why she's doing what she's doing. You know, it's missing purposeful disinformation just to mess the community up, which it, it very well could be. But, you know, there's no proof of that. And uh, um, it's just absolute insanity. People must look at this field and just think, what a load of insane people that are, that are driving the, the narrative of our community. Anyway, that's five minutes worth of spiel here that I wasn't going to do, but it just gets my blood boiling, it really does, uh, which it should do. So yes, I'm heavily working on the channeling documentary, uh, still filming for the Richard Baldwin documentary, and um, I will keep you guys updated on this channel uh, pretty soon as well. So um, enjoy my interview with Ivan. Hi guys and welcome to another edition of The Kevin Moore Show. Now on today's show I'm about to be joined by my guest Ivan Teller. Now Ivan has been channeling since March 2015. Now, his psychic awakening was around 2011, connecting to his guys and learning the metaphysical arts. Now the main ideas for Ivan's channelings is to assist his audience with the ascension process by sharing messages and connecting to his guys to raise his audience's vibration. Now Ivan's joining me today to discuss the Captain Mark Richards case. Now this is a documentary docu-series that I'll be releasing this year. Uh, Ivan put a video out recently where he was uh, doing some conscious channeling when it came to the Mark Richards case and I wanted to get his take and also to sort of have a one-to-one -one with him of the evidence that I've gathered compared to what he was putting out in the video and just to look at some of the um, connections that maybe we can do together in this case. So Ivan Teller, welcome to the show. Thank you. Or should Thanks. I say welcome back to the show actually because Thank you. you was on previously. Actually what I'll do as well in the description below I'll just link your interview or your previous interview up as well. Okay. So I found it very interesting some of the work you're doing right now especially when you yeah. put up the video on uh, Mark Richards as well and we're going to mm -hmm. get into that so kind of what the theme of this is about and just mm -hmm. your progression as well. So um, just to let the audience know uh, obviously, I, most of them, a lot of them will know that I'm working on 
a channeling documentary. Uh, yes. One of those participants was yourself. I believe we met the early part of 2018 with that like March time. Maybe a bit Yeah, early. I think it was May. Was it May? Was I it? Think. Yeah, I yeah think so. it could have been me then. So just, just to begin with then, so I know that you've spoken on some of your latest videos. If you just tell us, for those who may not have seen your previous, just what you do and the, uh, the type of readings and the, the kind of um, videos that you make as well. Well, I've been, uh, in March of, 15, uh, March 15th of this year, I've been doing this for four years. The channeling is I've been a gradually gradual process of you know, connected to aliens, spirit guides, spirit beings, uh, higher dimensional energies. Uh, and recently I've been going into a new phase of really connecting to higher dimensional beings that I've been, uh, kind of really going into their space. Uh, I'm not sure if they want me there or not in their story. <laughs> Some don't, but that's okay. So that's where I kind of reached, got where it's where it brought us here today so yeah so 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 in that year of well, i guess it's been less than a year but it's we're now in mm -hmm. obviously 2019 you've gone through a lot of shift yes i've gone to like uh you know it was kind of you know before kind of just winging it you know well I'm adapting to it but now i'm kind of going into more of the raw energies of reality you know, connected to the men in black energies, the higher elite energies, reptilians that are manipulating our dimensions, and connected to the reptilians that are, you know, going into our, or the elite that's going into our dimensions, you know, we are at a human understanding, the ideas that go to a fourth dimensional understanding, you can say, and it might look crazy to a lot of people, <laughs> but I think all opinions are good, so, you know, open-mindedness is good. So, yeah, this is a realm of understanding that a lot of people at the third dimensional level might not understand. Uh, but then again, you never know. But at a fourth dimensional level, the manipulation, this is their playground. Third dimension is their playground for higher elite beings. So, okay. that's helpful. Okay. So, so let's just get straight into the Mark Richards then. Why, why sure. did you pick up on that video? You must have seen something I did, or did you see something someone else had done? Yeah, I've watched, I've been following... What you are connecting to is like, oh yeah, you're definitely on the mark. I followed you, and just like you're right, you know. Well, I was picking up in the early when you first went into this, and I, I was on your side. Not to say I'm not on your side right now, not at all. Uh, but, <clears throat> uh, but I was following it and just like yeah, Carrie Cassidy, a little bit different light looking, you know. But I had a recent, um, I guess, call it a psychic attack uh, that happened not too long ago uh, from another I don't, I don't want to go into too much detail uh, but I had a psychic attack basically I was paralyzed it was beings around me they were reptilian beings but I got their energy too so I got their energy I kind of like you know I was diving into things in a video and then at the end of it this is before, a video before the Mark Richards one I was like it just the Mark Richardson just popped in my head out of nowhere. It's like so I was going into that. It's like yeah, he did it, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. There's like a like a coup d'état energy. What I felt is now in the video before the Mark Richards, I wasn't really sure. I just felt there's a lot of blockages there. There's a lot of manipulation there. Didn't make it. It just I wouldn't really be able to connect to it fully. So afterwards, I let my energy settle down, and then what I say is like when I connect to Mark's energy. I don't see him doing it, but I do see other beings manipulating the vibration where, yeah, at our level, it looks like he really did it. <laughs> so it's like this is a major math, you know, manipulation. Of course, others might have a different way of looking at things, which I quite understand. Okay. <clears throat> what? Now, I don't have... I have to really dive because I don't know a whole lot about his history. I know what you have said, and but I haven't really dived in it. But what, from what the vibration I got, you know, it feels like it was a more of the secret space program stuff. Really feels like it really started when he was in jail. I mean, he probably was connecting to it astrally, if he remembers or not. You know, thirty years ago, I don't know. But when he was in jail, from what I can feel, his astral connection really, this is what I'm connected to, really opened up. Now he's going within. 
because I can see him going within himself. Now he can't go anywhere. It's like, and either what I'm getting is like, and let's put it this way: in the secret space pro, say how you interpret it. He made somebody really angry. He did something. In a you know, he's like I believe in the positive side, from what I can feel. Of course, the negative side might call him negative because they're going after. He's going after them. So it's a different way of looking at it. <laughs> so he made somebody really upset. So. But doing that, you know, kind of like put it, you got in this situation. Now he's in, now he's in jail. And part of it also for him to be in that position is for him to allow the leak this, you know, these connections. So that was the, you know, what happened at that event is very, you know, the murder event is very, from what I pick up, very, there's a lot of interference there from what I pick up on. So I also felt, a clone of him too so like i say take it with a grain of salt but at least it's have an open mind so so, so. when you when you made that video on mark richards and yeah. we'll link that video in the description below sure. um were, you didn't do any channeling on that video it was uh conscious channeling okay so it was i was connecting to the vibrations of it let's put it that way oh i do a lot of conscious connections okay okay that's what's going on with that um you know I believe in uh, the multidimensional reality that there's other mm -hmm. realities out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But obviously, doing the Mark Richards case has made me see very clear that we are, have a shared reality here. You're yeah. my shared reality, and, and so is exactly. everyone else that's interacting with me, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, when we go out of that shared reality, or when we're picking up on other realities and believing that they're this reality, I yes. think that's when it gets a bit dicey. So are yes. you picking up on another reality for Mark Richards? Or are you picking up on this shared reality? It feels like it's a, like you said, a shared reality with ours. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's another reality. It feels like it's what's happening here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And you see, what, what, what the issue is for me with that is obviously, you know, I've, um, I've met the family. So I've mm -hmm. met Mark Richards' ex-wife. I've mm -hmm. met the murder victim's sister, mm -hmm. Susan Baldwin. Mm -hmm. uh, I've spoke to the lead detective, Ted Lindquist, who was there and in his reality arrested Mark in 1982 mm -hmm. and was there to proceed through to the court case to the end in 1984. Uh, yeah. I've met other detectives that were involved in the case. Mm -hmm. uh, I've met um, a great number of people in this uh, documentary mm -hmm. than a working on. It may be a docu-series. And when you say in that video that we're only looking at the 3D aspect of it, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, I have to say that uh, I disagree with you completely. That, mm -hmm. um, you know, having, you know, I mean, we, we weren't there at the murder trial from 1982 mm -hmm. to 1984, but the court transcripts, um, which are honest and uh, fair, are mm -hmm. what exactly happened. So y when you say he wasn't there at the murder, are you saying he wasn't there at the murder or he wasn't involved in the murder? Well, it feels like whatever that was in whatever court inspired, what you like have a record of, yeah, he was, he was there. Yes, know, he was so. there. Yes, he was yeah. there because Cross and mm -hmm. Hoover, the young kid at I 17 at the time, who was shoving the instruments yeah. inside of Mr. Baldwin, and Mark was passing mm -hmm. them to him. You know, he done that interview mm -hmm. and recorded phone lines, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, he yep. is not telling me a lie, okay? Yeah, I he admitted I to the that. murder from mm -hmm. the beginning. Mark was there. Mark masterminded the murder, mm -hmm. okay? The murder yep. of his friend, Richard Baldwin. Mm -hmm. Now, just put yourself in his case for a minute. Imagine mm -hmm. your friend, be it close or best, mm -hmm. turning around and doing that to you you wouldn't leave your body in the best of state as a soul, would you? Mm -hmm. No. No. And, and when I spoke to Karen Bacon, who is, was mm -hmm. Karen Richards, uh, mm -hmm. he did this murder. You know, she, he wasn't away on secret mm -hmm. space program meetings, okay? Mm -hmm. They shared mm -hmm. a life together from when he left Dominica mm -hmm. College to the time when the murder happened. Mm -hmm. So how do you answer that then, with with with, with, with your with your ability with uh, as, as a channeler when you say you're well, alone? Well, it's I don't that I'm not 100 percent on, but I believe it is. What corresponded did correspond, you know, in this reality. So 
you know. But I still feel there's another aspect of it we're not connecting to. But he wasn't, you know. You, you, you know, what you've got to understand is that wasn't, mm -hmm. when, when, these, when these young people that were hanging out with Mark at the Pendragon mm -hmm. meetings doing free, you know, and these were kids that mm -hmm. were free basing cocaine and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there was no talk about ufology. Medieval yeah. stuff yeah. for Pendragon and Camelot, <laughs> but not ufology. So why was that? Yes. If, if it's real, why, why, was, why was Mark not into, you know, not discussing that with them then? Well, yeah, that's why I feel that during his, uh, when he was in prison, that's where all that started to, to come in consciously. So, because I didn't see that during that time frame. So, you know, during that, you know, it's not the queerest, but, but it feels that um, during when he was in jail, like, like he's already doing, putting this information out. But I believe he is connecting to it in a spiritual realm at this time at least right you know. so, so you feel that astrally or, or spiritually he's, yes he's yes. channeling this information exactly um yeah. and he's bringing it forth but but he's not channeling it see okay let's just go back to something basic here he is not a captain mm -hmm. that's a lie mm -hmm. that's stolen mm -hmm. valor mm -hmm. so when you said in your video that there are other captains out there well mm -hmm. n not mark Mm -hmm. uh, well, Captain, I mean, I feel there's a Captain energy around him. But Maybe he's never other. served, but it's false. Well, in, this, in the space program, well, in space program, energy is a little bit different energy there. Let's but he's not left this, he's not been into outer space. Let's just, let's just come back yeah. to this reality. Yeah. He's never been yeah, into yeah. outer space. So no. if he's going to give him the, 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 himself the rank yeah. of Captain, um, yeah. I, I, and, and, and don't think we're not looking into that. There is no evidence to say mm -hmm. he ever was. No. no, there's no physical evidence, no. I agree with that, yeah. And I, I have to put that down to he is, an, I mean, you know, he is mm -hmm. a, a master manipulator. Yeah, well, in that time, in, I don't know, I connected something that was a little bit different. <laughs> Well, okay, so, so he's in... Now, now, the murder and all that, I believe, happened the way it did. Let's put it that way. But also, there's other things that are there that are... Well, you've got to understand, his wife says that he, you know, he, she, she won't tell him where he was at that moment. Mm -hmm. She is classified, mm -hmm. and he, he was away on another mission. But you tell that to Ted Lindquist and Susan Baldwin, who saw the trials through. Susan Baldwin yeah. saw it through with her mum, Ellen, who had, you know, had a, mm -hmm. lost her son. Uh, in, in, mm -hmm. in, in, in Mark's craziness of, 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 of mm -hmm. you know, what he went through at the time, um, mm -hmm. you know, they would listen to this and say, absolute bollocks. Yes, I understand. I understand. I understand. And this, and, but I still feel in the, at least where he's at right now, he is connecting to the space pro, at least what he's channeling is, I don't think he's, you know, some people might say it. I mean, I understand. Yeah, well, it, when I did a, an interview with Kerry Castley in Los Angeles, she mm. did actually admit in the, in the interview, which she's never said before, uh, and I'll link that interview below. People have probably seen it anyway, that it is mm -hmm. a form of channeling that she thinks he's doing. Mm -hmm. I believe so. But I don't... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. If you're going to murder, if you're going to be take part in taking your best friend's life, okay, and, you know, uh, all that entails as well, the madness that entails... Um, and you're going to be put away from society by the state because you're deemed to be not just an mm -hmm. evil person, but actually a, a problem mm -hmm. that you know, needs mm -hmm. healing. And he's, I don't believe he's healed himself at all in prison, right? Um, uh, he's going through a lot of um, torture, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the problem is, if, 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 how is that connecting? How can, he be, how can we know he's connecting with anything good right now? Uh, he's connected to a little bit of everything. Let's put it that way. So, as I understand why people would say that he is under, you know, what's going, you know, if they trust it or not, that's fine. But it, feel, it feels, let's put it this way, it feels like it is, at least take it as you will, what he's connecting to is helping somebody. So, it might be, there is going to be manipulation, there's manipulation with everything. So, uh, but... I think it's also getting us an idea of the higher realms too, how it works. If that makes sense, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I've never met him face to face. He's never going to want to mm -hmm. meet me. But no. but but everything he's put out about me is is just a lie. You see, the thing is, mm -hmm. you know, he, he, I cannot 
I just can't go down the road that what he's putting out now is useful only because mm. I know of the man quite well 36 mm. years ago. Now we're, we can all grow new spots and develop exactly. what want to change, right? That, that's that is what, for sure. Yeah. But that's what I'm that's what I'm connecting to a lot too. So, you know. But how is he going to be helping himself with telling the stories he's telling right now in prison that the system's not going to see that he's changed? That's true. Well, for him, I mean, I believe that he opened up a side of himself he didn't know that was there. I mean, I'm not trying to say forgive him or anything or whatever you want to do. I understand that. But I think there is validation to what he's connecting to. Let's put it that way. Some people take it or leave it, whatever it might be. It is still a spiritual connection, even if it is done through manipulation or positivity. I think he's trying to help himself. Of course, some people might say he's like a mass manipulator. Quite understand. I'm not expecting people to connect with what I'm saying. I'm expecting to get a lot of backlash, actually. Uh, but I think there's a higher realm of of looking at things. If that makes sense. If that's just uh, I know I know you do that already. I understand that. Uh, but it just feels like there's some other forces that are involved that are. Um, I mean, they brought this out. I Me mean, just talking about all this stuff. So at least it's. Yes, it's, but, but when you say you've served in the military, when mm -hmm. you say that you were a captain, when you're saying mm -hmm. all these things, when 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 a story starts off with immaculate yeah. lies, right? Absolute I, I lies. I mean, remember, I've yeah. met Karen it's Bacon, physical. right? Mm -hmm. None of that exists. Mm -hmm. that, that's not the reality that they share together when the bed that they share together yeah. and the life that they share together, right? Mm -hmm. That's not mm -hmm. there. So if you're going to start mm -hmm. off with these stories which aren't true, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, how, how can the rest be believable? That's true. Yeah, I can say, yeah, I, everything that, like his ex-wife talking about what people have been through. I don't want to take away any of that. You know, obviously, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, I know it sounds weird, but, but with him right now, it's, it's, yes, there might be, and that's how you're trying to redeem himself, but I believe what he's connected to isn't entirely a, a manipulation. Now, obviously people don't trust him. I understand that. But there's a part of him that is going inside. Of, he's going inside himself, finding something new. He's like, well, what does he have to win from all this? I mean, he's, in, he's not getting the benefits of anything. He might be getting attention. Uh, some people might have difficulties. But I believe, like, let's put it this way. Like, the spirit world is speaking through him for positive or for negative. Like you said, like with the physical, with the space program, I understand, you know, all of that is kind of like a yeah. Sorry, go well, ahead. Well, no. What if what, what if he was a symbol of discernment? That absolutely everything he's saying, even if he is connecting, is absolute nonsense, and he's being mm -hmm. fed from dark energy, absolute nonsense. As an, as a beacon to the people that he, the lives he touches, mm -hmm. to show mm -hmm. discernment in it's their true. life. That's true. It is a lesson in that. It is a. It's like this is all a lesson. Sometimes you need the dark. Okay, let's look at that from. This is. I mean, I think this is a good healthy conversation i think it really um some people need to learn from the dark so say like this is all dark is bringing through a manipulation but at least they're you know they can make that decision on their own but it is part some people are drawn to the dark because we come from a kind of a dark reality so with that um he's still you can kind of see where he's trying to i think he's trying to heal himself <laughs> some people might disagree <laughs> so well, I guess it. Um, what happened in the physical reality? I'm not that you know. I'm not saying what people are s saying is wrong. Like, which is take the yeah. That's I believe them, and but with what is going now, the prison is in now. Say like there is dark force. I think there is a positive. There's always some positive there. So I get that way. So take what what works with you through a like a channeling. It's like, if it's dark, some people connect to that, but it's just like, maybe there's something else there that help people awaken, you know, because he is helping people awaken. It may be from a darker aspect of it, but it is helping people because it comes from Kerry Cassidy. It's like, this might be, his soul is a lot of help, as you can see, obviously. So it's like, it's like, this is a soul that's not in a good position, but it's helping people see a different aspect of, you know, humanity, 
you could say. I, I think that's that an important sense? part, isn't it? You know, yeah. uh, because yeah. I, I, on my journey, I've seen that when when there are um, when there's misinformation coming through from channelers, you exactly. know, I, I, I say, well, what's yeah. what, what's the positive side of that? And I say, oh, it's discernment. How would we know what discernment feels like without the opposite? <laughs> I completely agree. That's the problem with channeling. You might have the best intentions ever, but you just never know what, because you kind of go out of your state. You don't know what the hell is coming through. I mean, you, you trust it. Even if you have the most positive vibrations around you, it's like, you know, some beings just have a different way of looking at things. So I believe this is like, a, like for those that are involved with this, let's see, they're just opening up more spiritually. They might not trust them, why well, understand that but it is also they're kind of giving a, an understanding of reality so the what they told me what they showed me people might not agree with that i completely understand that <laughs> it's like but it's, it's a version of what i'm picking up people might not that's okay but it is a spiritual you use darkness to find spirituality yeah that makes sense yeah i so. mean i mean the thing is i mean um you know, yes, his reports are detailed um, yes. and, and stuff, but it's nothing that he couldn't be fed, and it's nothing that manipulation from someone else couldn't be doing yeah. as well, right? Yeah. So, so, so I, I, yeah. I, I, I take it with a pinch of salt, and also, you know, exactly when, mm -hmm. I, when I see the way that uh, mm -hmm. obviously Kerry Cassidy is reacted, because obviously this is a top whistleblower, right? Yes. Um, I there's lots of confusion in my mind about why she Agreed. has acted like she has right when anybody <laughs> even with some sense was would be able to plug the discernment meter in and and actually see the bigger mm -hmm. picture here you know yeah. and when you say that you've done your research and you've spoken to none of the people that i have which are the key people and there's more people to speak to yet okay that um uh, there's something not right there so you know um there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye. That's all I'm, I'm going to say as well right now without saying mm -hmm. too much. But um, I, I would say his reports are so far out of this shared reality. Yeah. I'm not sure in this reality you would find such things going on. What would you no, say you to would. that? Oh, no, you would not. No. Um, that's the other thing. Well, for Carrie Cassidy, obviously she's not understanding all this herself. I mean... It's her soul journey, as you can see. And for going through the dark, yeah, I'm not trying to make anyone convince, I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything. <laughs> but at least give you a different take on it. So I keep repeating, it's like, I'm going to take anybody out of that experience of the murder. I don't want to, I'm a hands off on that. I completely feel those energies there. Uh, but Carrie Cossie, obviously, she needs, this is a soul journey for her. And it's up to her to uh, see if, you know, Mark Richards is pulling in. It is four-dimensional energy. It might be majorly manipulated. I understand that. It's for her to... I think she needs to open her mind up a little. Obviously, you know that. Open up her mind a little bit. Talk to you more about this. Maybe not agree with you, but at least talk to you about it. And just, you know, just have an open mind. Have a discussion, like with all the people you talk to, maybe even online, if they're comfortable with that like with your radio show such a situation and explore it is a world into the spiritual realm so a lot of people are sometimes you need the dark to do that so the dark does have its positives meaning it is it does have its work so look at that from that perspective i mean most of these people that look at this like what the what are they getting involved no, with um um so, yeah I, 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 I didn't realize how much the dark energies are in my community yeah. I, all, I, yeah. I always used to say to my folks i say oh there's yeah. no such thing you know if you want to make if you want to attract that to your life about the dark energies you will but actually you know what the dark energies honestly have a big hold on this yes, community masquerading yeah. itself as light as, exactly exactly and that's you know, I say things when I do videos. Yeah, it may be controversial, but it's like, I'm not trying to be mean. It's like, like what you're doing. It's like, I'm just trying to say what I'm picking up on. You might disagree with it. I quite understand that. So there is a lot of darkness. So like with, with the Mark Richards, I do see there's positive there. Maybe it's not coming out, but the dark is working its, its ass off, as you can say, to really... Um, do a lot of deception, but it's also helping people 
see the spirit world through Mark Richards that would never, ever touch this stuff. So it's part of an awakening, a yes. form of it. Now, now that I would totally agree with. Yeah. That I would totally agree with, brother. Yeah, I mean, so that's, that, just, that's, that's, that's obvious, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's, you didn't, I'm not trying to... Yeah, sorry, yeah, you didn't sorry. state that exactly no, when did you not. did the video, right? I obviously thought. I'm still figuring this out myself. I don't understand anything myself. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. And you did mention, uh, obviously, the murder lawyer as well, being very stuck in 3D from Sky Matters. And yeah. I'm in direct contact with that gentleman. And... He would just like to say to you, he is on his own spiritual path as well, yep. and he is not Same stuck now. in uh, 3D, uh, the three D world. He he actually <laughs> he actually would say that you know in another reality maybe Mark yeah. is a captain, you know, and you know. But I don't even care about that. That's not that that's I, not, I that's here. We're, we're, that's not here. We're here. Well, the fourth dimension does have a lot of the, like the fantastic, the the strange. You know the um, you know and we're we're slowly tapping into that reality as you can see. You might be going through a daf that darker aspect of it. Yeah, but it is part of our soul growth. Well, well you, you really put me in a predicament. I'll be honest with you about yeah. you know you know when I saw that video and a number of people sent it to me, I was like, oh my god, shit. You know, you know? it looked like I've lost my mind. I know. Well, well no, no, no. You trucked me in the sense <laughs> of 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 you know where do, where do i stand with you with my channeling doc but this conversation we're having right now is very is very healing and i, and I think it, it's actually mm -hmm. it makes it makes a lot of sense what what you're trying to say and what you're saying yeah thank you i mean you have an open yeah i felt that actually when i when i made that video i tell you i i connected you in astral cuz you're like, like what are you talking about Ivan? <laughs> so so i completely I, I don't understand this either, you know, so all the way, obviously. Um, I will say this. There, there is, look, there's a spiritual aspect to all souls, right? We're a soul here having a human experience, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. probably in, in the people that have surrounded Mark and made him the name that he is right now are yeah. not wanting to, to, to show that side of him. And maybe he yeah. doesn't want to show it, right? I don't deny that that side's there. After 36 years, right, yeah. what, what has that done to you mentally? Well, obviously, it's had a mental, you know, his health, his mental health exactly. isn't as good as it was, right? Mm -hmm. Put that on top of being a channel or channeling or downloading. Yeah, you know, he's in a perfect situation to be where he's doing what he's doing. And I think, I think, I think that uh, Joanne Richards uh, and Kerry have got a lot to answer for. Exactly, I think because I, I don't um, I, I don't know with them where they where they're helping him heal. I don't get that. I don't. You, you're probably right. Yeah. What I'm getting here is the, you know, obviously spirit world has strange ways of op working. I think they they connected me because you know Mark Richards this whole thing. I wasn't. I mentioned it here and there. I'm not gonna get involved with it. It's not. You know. You think you're doing a good job with it. But you know, obviously, they're working through me to get your attention. At least give a different people a different way of looking at things. Hopefully, that's helping in some ways. I might look like I'm a crazy person. Okay, good, because I want to look at it from a more positive direction. Obviously, there's a lot of dark aspect. I think Carrie, Cassie, everyone needs to talk. I think it'd be good to talk to you and other you. You and talking to Mark Richards. Um, I don't know if you can do. Obviously, you can't do a video, but yeah, there's a lot of pain there. Obviously, and I think they really should have. Uh, several discussions with you to just but, at least have an open mind but, but then you've got to understand ivan there's bigger mm -hmm. reasons for that not to take place yeah. right they, they've got yes. a lot invested joanne's got a lot yes. invested in this more than you I can understand. imagine as well as mark I, more uh, so, as well as Ke kerry more than you can imagine yeah i, I understand I, I see that so well at least we're discussing that Aspect it, it, of it's, it. it's true. I I, I, I I have thought, you know, because we haven't released it right now, I've been thinking I need to bring the light to this documentary. It is such a dark documentary. Where is the light? And one of the major lights for me was Mark being a, 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 a spiritual master in disguise as a, a symbol of discernment. Yeah, there's a lot of, of obviously, well, of course, people can't, you know, but there is a lot of, yes, reptilian manipulations there but we do warn through the dark as they said and that is what we're doing right now and they did bring a lot of this stuff in front of us 
Yeah. That a lot of people are not. No, no, no. I mean, the thing is, if you were sat with Kerry Cassidy right now, she would be feeding you a different type of energy. Yeah, and, you're right. And, right. you know, you would be sucked into to, to that way That's of thinking. I, I, I'm trying to be neutral with it. Now, if I, I, if, if I had found anything in this case that led to another direction, I would mm -hmm. have been mm -hmm. putting that in. That would go, mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. here to twist the truth. The reason mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. so angry with a lot of my videos on this shit was because I knew mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. and I just wanted to scream it out to my community and I still can't. Exactly. And that turned into a lot of anger, especially when I met Susan Baldwin. After 36 years later, her head was down on the floor still talking about her brother. And she was yeah. so cut up that someone called Kerry Cassidy and Joanne Richards were giving this man the platform. Just like Ted Linquist said, you know, Ted Linquist said exactly the same thing, that to give that man one ounce of airtime, uh, no way. But okay, that's coming from a very 3D, but that's what we're in right now, right? And I, and I can understand why he's saying that. He, was, that he knew this man back when, uh, you know, when these were, we were all younger people and the boys were a lot younger that had been manipulated to do this with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so there was, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, if you were to tune into Richard Baldwin right now, what, what, what would you pick up on Richard Baldwin? And his energy towards Mark. Oh, I have a lot of re resentment, uh, trust, as you could say, uh, a lot of trust that was obviously broken. And he's like a broken soul right now, even in the spirit world. You can still have that. You know, people think you heal all the way, but not, not in something like that. Like I said, with trust, like that, and it just that is like a, like a a mother bond almost. You know, it was such a strong family connection there and to break that so you can say that mark is trying to get around that as you can see he's yes, trying he to is. yes he is oh. so that's why we're even here to have this discussion well, kind well, of bring well, stuff here's out. the thing what does richard think right i mean i mean mark has always okay. said that he wasn't there at the murder okay he has not accepted mm. his part in what he did yeah uh blockage mental blockage there so obvious major mental blockage it's like well you can say it's like how can this be happening to me i never do anything wrong and uh, as you can see <laughs> so there's a lot of things there that are it's it's very deep as you can see so but that's what you're here for and that's why we are having this conversation so me talking well to Gary, it, it's so. it's it's like this it's what like when simon parks got involved and mm -hmm. You know, and he's putting out the information that he's met someone in the intelligence services that say that, say that Mark was in the Navy, but it's not true. Mm -hmm. And again, now mm -hmm. we've, you know, we, yeah. I mean, it's more of the astral stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, it's just insane. And um, so, so w w why is Baldwin hanging around for then? Why, why is he not moving on as much as he could do? Why is he, why has he left himself to be in that situation right now? What's he waiting for? I feel, yeah, he wants the truth to come out. Uh, he's working through you, you know, he's working through others, family, and just wants more of the truth to come out, if that makes sense. Feels that, feels that that's the, some souls need to have that pain to, you know, get your passion going, get your passion, get the family's passion, stuff like that. So you are opening up new directions that others I, guess I keep feeling that the, the guides work me just to get your attention <laughs> yeah just that's to... so cool i know well you you have you have you have yeah. otherwise just... we wouldn't be doing this so yeah, so, so, like... so 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 what what does my guides or the, the guys want to tell me then that's important that you could bring through? yeah you're uh, yeah you are obviously on the right path it's a war path but you are bringing light to darkness and you are that's what we were all here to bring light to ourselves, but we have to recognize the darkness to do that. And so now you're bringing out the darkness, and it's for us to, you know, make a decision what direction we want to go with it. And, I, and I've, got, I've got to do a shout out to Jeff as well, who got us involved with this, Jeffrey Reed, and my other crew that I'm working with right now. Without their help, um, this wouldn't be happening. <laughs> What, what what do you feel that Mark's dad feels about him right now? That, that Major Ellis. Richards, who was in the Air Force, what does his dad feel about what Mark's doing? Yeah, it doesn't look good. Uh, his father's very... I think his father's even in denial, too. You know, gonna Mark, you're going to manipulate him slightly, <laughs> from what I can feel there. That's a massive manipulation. So, you know, it's... It's... 
then the family can say for some reason like a darkness there that needed to find its light what, that's what, what's happening w- w- would you say that uh, Major Ellis is working with uh, Baldwin yes I think so in a positive way in a positive way <laughs> What about Mark's right. mum? If we tuned in to Mark's mum, Lois, who's oh, they're all passed away. These people. But if we mm-hmm. tuned in to Lois, mm-hmm. what the? I mean, she was she was so distressed at her son being framed, not framed, but yeah, framed. She always believed her son. I don't think the major did. But what do you pick up on uh, 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 Lois? Sorry, Lois, right now. That's her name. Oh, I believe she's working with you. I'm bringing more light. She sees things a lot differently in the spirit world. That's mm-hmm. might to connect to a different vibration of her and see a totally different story. Uh, but you are here to cut through, you can say cut through the matrix. This is another thing of going through the matrix of our reality to go into an area that we are not used to. And that's what you know, my work is, your work is, even if it is controversial, but sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to get people's attention to bring in. You know, sure. Yes. What will this documentary do for the community? Because I could have chosen a lot of things to look mm-hmm. at in our community, right? But this was mm-hmm. the one that was that 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 just took me to be honest with you and it's uh, you know it's not everyone's cup of tea but yeah, what, what, what will this documentary docu-series do for the for, for the community in general to begin with uh question the reality on all areas they have not quite done that just yet they're still trying to figure you know, as you figure it out they're, they're warning through you so as you you're probably going to other areas like i say with channeling deceptions and all that which is that might be the next year. I mean, like I say, a lot of these people have a good intentions, but there are beings that are kind of causing, you know, coup d'etat energies. So, and it's uh, I, I I have come across that. In, I mean, my the channeling documentary yeah. I'm still working on. I'm just going to go see Jay-Z Knight. I've got a few other channelers to see. So, so mm. this has been an ongoing, much longer project than I thought. But I tell you what's come from it is the darkness and deception out there. Now, there's yes. more light channelers than yeah. there are dark. But when you yes. said the other day, you know, on that video, you was like, I'm a channeler that's channeling the light. There's others that are deceived by the light. But I thought to myself, well, how do you know you're not being deceived? How do I? I believe I'm going in the right direction, but I do question my own connections. <laughs> it's like, I understand too. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot yeah. of people that love you out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's also others that don't. <laughs> I know yeah, that well. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Um, I, I think some people, when you've channeled, the, you know, the, the, uh, like people like Michael Jackson or whoever it may be that you're doing, I think some people would find that difficult sometimes, right? I understand. But, but, yeah. but just, uh, you know, I got when I got you on in Florida, which no one's seen mm-hmm. the footage for yet. I'm not even showing yourself back yet. It's all in the editing process, right? You know, okay. it, there was really good stuff that you brought through. I really enjoyed That's your good. energy. We had a great time. That's good. We went to Taco Bell, yeah. didn't we? And then we, yeah, we, we yeah. got a meal. It was cool to hang out with you. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. I, and I, I honestly think you've been sent to me for a reason right now, like you say. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, honestly I do. This, this conversation's gone yeah. 360 to what I thought it was going to go. That's, I felt a lot of, it's like, I'm going to get butchered. <laughs> no, like, no, I was never going to do like, that to you. But, but I, under, I understand that. Well, I realize that. But, you know, I'm bringing a different vibration in. But that's the idea is to bring in the light from an unconventional way. And you're doing it. It's like, like I said, you weren't really looking for. It kind of found you, right? It did. All well, this found dude, you, dude. It yeah. did. I, I was in contact in the desert. I had just interviewed Kerry Cassidy in Los Angeles, and then <sighs> Jeffrey was the one that started to troll me to say, "Do you know that I've been looking into this for five years, and this is not true?" And that's when I drove all the way up to San Francisco because I had to do something for, at the Irons Institute uh, as well. And I drove all the way up to Paradise, which is not there anymore, um, a lot of it, um, Ooh, yeah. and. Um, I met him, and having that meeting with Jeff changed my life and changed the course of my career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's your that's what you came here for. Yeah, I believe that's it was always part of your defined darkness and heal it, not to but just to bring it into the light, and that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, and I, and so. I don't think I would react quite the same as I did before. I might do a few angry videos. I can't say I wouldn't, but it wouldn't I be. I, I like my people around me have said to me, you have to find the light in this. This is yeah. what it's about. You can, and I think your message re-emphasizes that back to my team as well, and especially yeah. back to the audience. So that's a very healing type of interview right now. Yeah. 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 Just, um, yeah. yeah we're going into territory we're not used to, and it's it's strange. Yeah. You know, like I said, the dark does have a obviously a dark, but it also helps us find the light. So 
it you does. Know, like you have to fall down. It does. To, and and the, the people around yeah. Kerry, sorry, but the, the, they will think they're doing the right thing, you know. Um, but 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 yeah. the but the thing is the thing is, she didn't have to go out and get a private investigator onto me and dox me. She didn't have to do none of that, right? She, there were oh. things that she did that she that that, that 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 just show her for the person that she yeah. is. Yeah. Paranoid. I mean, yeah. I offered her many times to go see her face to face, switch the cameras on, and go through the evidence. Did she want to? Yeah. No. That's the thing. That's that's what you're working on. Yeah. It might take many years. It might not ever. I think it might happen, possibly. Should probably break down, possibly. That's what and you're I, here and, to do. And, and do you know what the conversation would be like, me and you? Yeah, that's the idea. I mean, I didn't think you're going to be controvert, you know, confrontational or anything. I didn't think that. But, you know, it is. I'm bringing in a new. Obviously, the guys are working to get your attention. And you are here to heal her vibration. And as you can, you know, it's not your mission in life, but you're, you're putting your. You and those behind you, those involved with that murder, are with you on this, you know, just to bring more light into the reality. Yeah. And it's just coming from an unusual, unusual place. You know, and I say, <laughs> I say this, the other people in my, there's so many others in our community that are misleading yeah. people. And they come yes. across as so friggin' sincere. You, know, you want to love them better than anything. Yeah, I know some, I mentioned stuff on my channel, I try to be really careful, I don't want to really just, destroyed anybody's career or anything like that i don't want to do anything like that but i you know we can have we can put this we can have some private discussions for my take and you know yeah yeah you know because yeah. i can give you more insight into my mission yes you're doing very controversial i am too i'm not saying i'm perfect you're not nobody's perfect no no way am i uh but yeah like like what channeling is like you said sometimes you don't know what the hell comes through and that's true you know um Hope for the best. I mean, put positive intentions. I want a positive energy, but on, yeah. honestly, I was—I I won't keep banging on like a broken record. I was just doing this documentary, and the people that it pulled in, I was shocked at how yeah. dark they are. And I, I, yeah. I say this: like, we've all got a crappy past, some of us, right? It's, where it's... are we right now? That's all that matters. Is where are you right now? Are you still mm -hmm. repeating the same behavior, or are you willing or have shifted that? Right. And I don't yeah. think had I not shifted some of my patterns, I would never be doing this type of work. Well, that's well, now you're seeing your sole purpose and it's and like with Mark. I don't think he's really growing. She's not helping him grow. She thinks she is. They're so not. they're not. They're just I feeding him. I mean, how, how do you how do you how can you how do you even heal yourself if you can't admit to yourself you were there on the day of the murder? And all you want to do is call Mr. Baldwin a pedophile. And and that 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 accusation has ramifications into our industry as well because people just think well he was a paedophile fucking basically yeah, yeah it wasn't not, true no. and if it yeah, is true I'm digging it out now and and what's Kerry, what know. Kerry's gone and done is actually put with with the with the investigator that she put onto me she he's also investigated the murder case and he's come up with information from the court case that there were there was pe that there was there was the, the whole pedo accusation and like the like the the, the the lawyer that I've been speaking to and Ted Linquist. It's not true. It's just, yeah. That was never in the court case. Do you know what it's called? Fake mm -hmm. news. Yeah. Fake it's, news. Well, obviously, she wants to protect her platform, her message, and she doesn't want to look like a total, you know. You know, she would she would heal this very quickly by just, I know she, it's like the worst thing in the world for her to talk to you, <laughs> as you probably know. It's like, but she really should. She should have did that without having an investigator, have an open mind. She might not agree with you, but at least have an open mind, at least. Unfortunately, so. right now, it's don't show me the evidence. I've made my yeah. mind up already. Yeah. And that, that's a quote from Stan and Freeman, that is. So, um, yeah. okay, well, look, this has been very, uh -huh. very interesting. I know you've got to get to work as well because uh, we were yeah. running a bit late doing this okay. interview. Okay. And there's so much more we can say. I think this has been so healing, right? I, I, Very good. I, I, I really have enjoyed having you back on, and yeah. I, I hope this has been helpful to you as well. Yes, it's been healing to the families. It, it, this is a journey for them into the higher dimensional understanding. It's horrible, but it's also it's like, this is what the ascension is. This is how it works. And 
we're on a dark planet, so we have to have a dark experience. And isn't it that so true? Because when you look at other communities out there, look at the re re revealing of the lies coming out just in our news and every day. Do you know what I mean? And it's within our own community that 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 transparency is with the ascension is starting to take place. If we don't start looking into our own community and helping yeah. ourselves. You know, I'm all for people wanting to, to, to grow, but you can't grow from fake news and misinformation. That doesn't exactly. work like that. And, and, and you could say, well, don't look at it. Let someone else look at it. But no one else is prepared to. Well, we're, we're working towards it. Yes, yes, that's true. See. That's true. I mean, I'm, I'm all for it. You know, like yeah. I said, I'm not perfect. The beings that come through, you know, you want what it is. Just That's why I do a lot of conscious channeling now yes. instead of bringing a being in. I feel yeah. like, you know, I'm coming from my higher self and, yeah. you know, it might be controversial as you can see. Yes. But it does have intentions to, like, start a conversation. You yes. Say. Well, that's what it did. So I've got to thank you for that as yeah. well. Thank you for, yeah. thank you for, yeah, thank you for having me on. And it's a very neutral connection, which is very excellent. That, yeah, that's great. And for people that want to find out more information, your website's been coming up on the screen, but your website is? Yes, ivanteller.com. I also came out with a channel text. It's channelings. Um, it's a gateway to the fifth dimension. It's a book one. It's, it's short, but it's, you know, once again, just, I think everybody should channel and just, uh, just and it might be crazy stuff, but, you know, it has good intentions, so. Yeah. It's warning and healing. Yeah, so. Excellent. Yeah. Well, Ivan, I'm sure our paths will cross again, brother. I'm sure yeah. they will. Yeah, I hope they will. Yeah. Uh, I know yeah, they will. Well, well, they will for the documentary. Yeah. They will for the documentary. Yeah. So uh, just thank you so, so much for joining me today. All right. Thank you.